Greetings, everyone. Welcome to the 2022 Atlas Core Bonus Day Celebration. Today is a big day. Wait, wait. Today is a huge day. We are hosting our annual Bonus Day Celebration. And for those of you who don't know, Bonus Day is our annual matching giving campaign where our donations are matched. Learn more, donate.atlascore.org. And today has a special significance because it may also be my birthday. Yes, as a proud Atlas Court alum who was part of class two and served in Columbia and now just celebrated 12 years as a full-time staff of Atlas Court, this organization has had a significant impact on my life. And I'm so inspired to, continuing to, to continue to open the doors of opportunity to more emerging global leaders. In our 16th year, Atlas Core has grown to a community of 1,400 social change leaders from 115 countries and you. Yes, we are all part of this dynamic community and Atlas Core has grown to where we are today because of all of you. And that is what we're here to do today. We gather to virtually celebrate. I know that life is busy, unexpected, and most likely a little stressful. But for the next 60 minutes, I invite you to take a breath and be present with us. Join us to celebrate. Atlas Core, together with this global community, is here to celebrate our fellows, our virtual scholars, and key members of our community. We also invite you to take a minute and to think about what you want to celebrate. Perhaps you had a recent professional achievement, maybe a great family event, or perhaps just jumping out of bed this morning and turning on this live stream was a highlight. Let's celebrate it because today is a celebration for all. And it's also a way for us to show our appreciation for all the aspects of our community. Because over these 16 years, Atlas Core is where we are. We are who we are because of you. So I wanna say thank you. And when I wanna invite us to this celebration. So speaking of community, we are going to start our celebration by recognizing some distinguished members of our community. And what Atlas Core likes to do throughout the year, we like to present three special awards. We have a distinguished volunteer, a distinguished host organization, the organiza of the organizations that engage our fellows, and we have our distinguished supporter. So we are going to recognize those three individuals and or entities today. And the first we're going to recognize, and we're actually gonna hear from some of them, which is very exciting, but let me give you a little background. So our distinguished volunteer is one of our selection board members. And a selection board member is an individual who helps us review applications. And so all of you who have recently applied to Atlas Core know that our selection board is so key. You, they may read your application, they may host an interview. And his name is Clark Halpern. And today we recognize Clark because he has served on our selection board, helping to identify the world's top social impact leaders. And he plays a crucial role. He has interviewed and scored applications. And he has really helped to take these applicants to actually become fellows and even virtual scholars. And according to our calculations, Clark has conducted more than 70 interviews and has always provided Atlas Core with thoughtful and considerate input on the candidate's potential fit for the fellowship and has provided helpful insight on the interview process. And I think that's what's so amazing is that an application is just words on paper, an interview is just 30 to 45 minutes, and it's what information we receive that really gives us insight into you all who have applied as individuals. And I love this recently, um, Clark shared a quote with us, and he says, Atlas Core has provided a wonderful opportunity to see the amazing grassroots work that young people are conducting around the world in creating change in their lo local communities. As a selection board interviewer for this fellowship in Virtual Leadership Institute, I have the chance to chat with individuals from around the world who are dedicated to sharing their skills and enthusiasm to improve society. Well, Clark, we appreciate you for helping to open those doors of opportunity and also helping to improve society by inspiring these emerging social change leaders. So please join me in welcoming Clark to the virtual stage. Clark. 
Thank you, Abby, for the kind introduction. And also thank you to Bijan, Zach, and the rest of the Atlas Core team for the great work that they've been doing. I've had the pleasure of volunteering uh, with Atlas Core for the past two years as an interviewer on the selection board. And I went back through my selection, uh, my interview notes in advance of this event. And as Abby said, I've interviewed over 70 people since I started back in March of 2020 from 26 different countries. It's been really wonderful to dive into the amazing work that's been done by these potential Atlas Core fellows in their home country. And then also be able to watch these fellows grow and develop over the course of their fellowship and then return back to their home countries as social change makers and build this global network that Atlas Core really aspires to have. I've built fantastic relationships with Zachary Morris, the senior manager of global engagement and other Atlas Core fellows such as Alexander Gunkel of Space for Good. So with this, I really want to thank Atlas Core and urge all of you to support Atlas Core's great mission of building a global network of social change makers with your time and donations. It is really wonderful to see an, Atlas, uh, an organization like Atlas Core do this work. And with that, I will pass it back to you, Abby. Thank you so much for this great honor. Well, thank you, Clark. And I love those words in that it's not just about reading applications or doing interviews. It's about building relationships. And you've really taken that to the next level. And so we really appreciate that extra energy and motivation you've added to Atlas Core. So thank you so much and keep up the great work. More interviews to come, I'm sure. <laughs> Excellent. Now we are going to recognize our distinguished host organization. And for those of you familiar with the Atlas Core model, Host organizations are crucial. Since the first year of Atlas Core, our model has been to engage emerging social change leaders from around the world in 12 to 18 months of service at organization based in the United States. And so we need these dyna dynamic organizations that provide an engaging experience, help to develop these leaders, and also utilize their skills and talent. So it's really a reciprocal relationship. And IFTC has gone above and beyond. IFTC currently hosts Atlas Core Fellow Constance, who's from Malawi, and also recently welcomed an AIF Banyan Fellow, Shavilika, from India. And this nonprofit organization, just to give you a little background, is dedicated to building sustainable agriculture practices and alleviating world hunger by working from the ground up through innovative science-based research, research and strategic partnerships. As their business development fellow, Constance is responsible for supporting the East and South African division through donor research, partnership building, and project design. And I love that IFDC is doing so much throughout the world, and there they have here in the United States, they've brought that local talent to further inspire and enhance their work. And Douglas Kerr, who's going to be joining us momentarily, who's the vice president of business development, expressed his gratitude for this partnership. And in his words, he shares, I've always had tremendous admiration for programs like the Atlas Core Fellowship and for similar citizen to citizen exchange and development programming. Despite all the current buzz about localization and international development, Atlas Core has been going local, aka walking the walk for more than 15 years. And Douglas, we appreciate that. And we appreciate such long-term support. I know that we've been connected, been involved with you and now with IFTC. So we'd love to hear your words of inspiration and congratulations on this honor. Thank you so much, Abby, and uh, happy birthday to you. Many happy <laughs> returns. Uh, it's absolutely wonderful to be here. I'm delighted to be part of this event. Uh, it was great to hear from Clark just there as well, just hear a little bit about what goes on behind the scenes in terms of selecting the fellows. Um, I think the one point that uh, doesn't get uh, stressed enough is that uh, for a host organization like IFDC, um, the Atlas Core process, the Atlas Core machinery really makes it very, very easy to be a host organization is, uh, you know, you guys have gotten this thing worked out. You've been doing it for 16 years. Uh, it's wonderfully supportive. Uh, and it's your work behind the scenes that makes this a successful program uh, and makes the work of host organizations uh, and the fellows that we work with successful as well. You know, um, as Abby knows, I had tried a couple of other times in prior jobs uh, to become involved with, uh, with the Atlas Core. Uh, and for some reasons, it never really worked out. But now that I'm here with IFDC coming up on two years, I'm absolutely delighted to be working with uh, Constance, who's been with us since the beginning of April last year, and then starting on Monday, Shivalika. And I already have a meeting set up for Shivalika for next week. Um, 
I think um, that volunteer programs, exchange programs like this, programs like Peace Corps, Fulbright, Muskie Fellowships, and so on, these are, as, as my words that I had quoted before, these are the sort of citizen to citizen ways in which a large succession of small touches actually add up to allow all of us to change the world, for want of a better phrase. I think we all wish we had the, you know, a magic wand where we could just wave a magic wand and make COVID go away, or the food crisis go away, uh, or make HIV AIDS go away, or the national debt go away. We can't do that. But by working collaboratively, people to people, programs like this, the two fellows that we'll be hosting, this, this is how a, a large series of small touches add up to that magic wand and allow us all to ultimately, I think, make the world a bit of a better place. So again, I'm delighted, Abby, I'm delighted, Bijan, and everybody at the Atlas Core for the opportunity to work with you folks and uh, onwards and upwards. I can't wait for what comes next. Thanks so much, Abby. Back to you. Thank you so much. I guess those are amazing words. And I think that's so true. We've given up on the magic wand, but we have amazing social change leaders and Atlas Core fellows, as well as other exchange programs. So thank you for your ongoing support. And we look forward to hearing more IFDC highlights. Excellent. Now, I'm sure you're waiting for our third and final honor, the Atlas Core Distinguished Supporter. Drum roll. This year, Atlas Court is Distinguished Supporter. Honor goes to the Conrad and Hilton Foundation. And while they're unable to join us today, I have some great insight into this partnership. And I'm actually even more inspired because I've had such an active role in developing this collaboration. And I'll share that over the years, Atlas Core and the Conrad and Hilton Foundation have been in communication. And it was in 2020 that synergies aligned and together we launched the Hilton Humanitarian Prize Laureate Virtual Leadership Institute. This unique cohort within our recently launched Virtual Leadership Institute welcomed our first their first scholars in May 2021, and we just welcome our second cohort of Hilton Prize scholars in May 2022. We're actually going to be recognizing them today. And this innovative partnership builds on the strength of both organizations. It builds on the 25 plus years of the Hilton Humanitarian Prize and the 16 plus years of Atlas Core Leadership Programs. So these Hilton Prize scholars are all emerging social change leaders exclusively from within the Hilton Humanitarian Prize Laureate community. And these scholars have had the opportunity to engage within that network as well as in the Atlas Core global community. And it is such a win-win-win in that the Hilton Lore Humanitarian Prize Laureate community is strengthened by having different layers of their organization and their talent engage across borders, across organizations. Atlas Core is strengthened because we get these dynamic leaders, which is currently more than 100, that have our enhanced our community. And then the individuals, these dynamic scholars, they've been able to advance their work, enhance what they're doing both locally and as a network. So we thank you. Hilton Foundation for this dynamic collaboration. And we look forward to ongoing communication and partnership. And we also spend special kudos to all the Hilton Prize scholars, because we know there are many more highlights to come, whether you're an alum who finished in 2021, or whether you're looking forward to completing your Virtual Leadership Institute in 2022. We know that this is just one step on an amazing professional journey. So please join me from your seats in congratulating the Conrad and Hilton Foundation, as well as IFDC and as well as Clark. So thank you to all these individuals and organizations that have enhanced Atlas Core over these years. Now, as it is bonus day, I'm going to do a quick reminder to everyone about bonus day because I would be remiss if I didn't remind everyone that it is a special matching day. And thank you for popping up that build bridges, support Atlas Core leaders. So today, July 20th, donations are matched to support Atlas Core leaders, whether our current leaders or our upcoming leaders into the future. So go to donate.atlascore.org and provide that gift. Every little bit supports global leaders from Africa to Asia to South America to the North America to Europe, all around the world. This is what we're doing. We're building bridges across borders, across social sectors, across skill sets. And we can do that together. We can inspire because that core truly believes that the most effective way to inspire social change is by empowering individuals to really lead that impact. And now we're going to hear 
for more of those individuals. So on that note, it is my honor to welcome to the virtual stage a true inspiration at Atlas Core, our CEO. So please join me in welcoming Bijan Nishat. Great to see you, my friend. Hello, Abby. Happy birthday. Thank you. And congratulations to everyone, uh, Clark, uh, Doug. It's so wonderful to see you on stage and to hear you. And also to our Hilton friends, it's wonderful to work with you. Abby asked me to share a few words and uh, it reminded me of exactly a year ago when I was about to join and to know that I will be joining this organization, watching this celebration last year and thinking, what kind of a community is this? What am I experiencing going into it? And I can tell you a year later, I couldn't be more thrilled and privileged to be leading this organization. I've spent this year listening to you, the community, to alumni, to scholars, to our host organizations and partners. And if there was a year in which it has become more obvious that we need to invest in new and diverse leadership with all the challenges that we're facing, especially since the beginning of this year with new wars, climate change, food crisis, Doug, as you mentioned and working on, this is the year in which we should be doing even more to support young social change leaders in this community. And to me, this was really exemplified when the war in Ukraine broke out, how this community came together overnight, our Russian alumni coming together in support and solidarity of our Ukrainian community. And from all over the globe, having people dial in and express their support and wanting to support each other, be it on mental health, be it on career opportunities for people who had to leave their country. This to me, this human connection across borders, regardless of location, ethnicity, language, that to me exemplifies what we are trying to do with this community. And let me share as well, because this week we are having the immersion, our global leadership lab, some of the things, Doug, that I've heard about our host organizations. We asked our fellows, name some of your role models. And I was in a small breakout group discussing and listening about role models that we want to share for our leadership development. Several of our fellows mentioned their host organization supervisors and mentioning how they were enabling them to share their vulnerability as a leader, to share how they are working on specific challenges and need support, to share when they need to say no and to really tell people you need to lead on saying no and, and create boundaries. That kind of leadership experience through the fellowship, that is a watershed moment in a young leader's career. And this is what we can enable together with you as host organizations, with you as supporters, and with you as part of the community, wanting and willing to make a difference in our world right now and down the line. Because I believe this is the next generation of social change leaders that we're investing in now. So the return on this investment will be many fold over time. And we already see that from our first 16 years of history. Abby, thank you very much. And I will hand back to you. And I love that perspective in that we're investing now and social change leaders now and into the future because that, yes, that's what and who these fellows and scholars are. And I love it. We're actually gathered together virtually this week for what we call our Atlas Core Immersion. And so we have our fellows and scholars joined together. And, and as you were mentioning, it's so dynamic to hear these conversations that we've created by bringing these people together. And it's so inspiring to think of where this conversation will lead into the future. And so thank you for leading us and inspiring us. And I know we're looking forward to big visions ahead as Atlas Core as well, like everything else in our world has been evolving and changing and adapting over these years. And we know that there's a bright future ahead. It's being led by you as well as our whole community. So thank you. Thank you for your words today. And now we're going to get an insight into who we're celebrating. What I love about Atlas Core is that these last two years, 
have not been easy, though we have not stopped what we are doing. We have still engaged leaders from around the world. We launched the Lended Fellowship, which essentially instead of immediately bringing Atlas Core Fellows to the United States, we started engaging them virtually with the goal of them coming to the United States. And so we have fellows who are in the United States right now. We have fellows who are serving from their home country. And we also launched the Virtual Leadership Institute. And so that launched in November of 2020. We've had more than 400 virtual scholars. And so they engage all online for about five months of leadership training around our core principles of developing self, developing others and leading movements. And that has been a wonderful aspect to our or addition to our organization and that we've been able to multiply our community and the number of people we've touched. And that's also enhanced how we operate as an organization because every individual that joins Atlas Core inspires us and makes us better. And of course, we cannot do this without your support as well as to support us and key partners. So in about 60 seconds, we're gonna shout out some of our fellows and scholars who've been joining us as you see. And I also wanna shout out some of our supporters. So you see here, this is class 44 that started in January, 2022. And I wanna give a shout out to some of our US embassies in Brazil, Cote d'Ivoire, Russia, Singapore, and Indonesia who have supported our Atlas Core leaders this year, as well as to the American Express Foundation and the Hilton Foundation who have supported our leadership programs as well as our Virtual Leadership Institute. So we have our class 45 fellows that started in April. Look at these dynamic individuals. And then we have class 46. And I think you'll notice the huge size increase, which is amazing. They just started last week in July. This also includes a unique partnership with the American India Foundation. And so that is a new collaboration, the AIF Banyan Impact Fellowship. So we're excited for that dynamic collaboration and so are these talented individuals. And we have our scholars. Here is cohort eight. So this is our diverse group. And this one had sponsorship from Brazil, Cote d'Ivoire, um, Singapore, and Singapore, the US embassies. Look at these talented individuals. And then we have our Hilton Prize Scholars. So this is our second cohort of Hilton Humanitarian Prize Laureate Virtual Leadership Institute Scholars. Congratulations to all of you. And congratulations to all these individuals who are now an active part of the Atlas Core community. And of course, while I can talk on and on how much I love Atlas Core, I think it is even more impactful to hear from one of our current participants. So it is my honor to welcome one of our Atlas Core scholars, Julia, who is a scholar cohort eight from Brazil. And she is dynamic. I love what this group from Brazil has been able to achieve, how they also are on their own, leading impact locally, connecting locally. So please join me in welcoming Julia to the front. So thanks for joining us today. Hi guys. And Abby, I didn't know it was your birthday. So happy birthday. <laughs> uh, so, uh, I'm Julia, like I said, I'm from Brazil. I'm actually from the middle of the Amazon forest. I live in a capital in Brazil, but it's really in the middle of the Amazon forest here. So uh, I don't have much way to go unless I take a plane. For the last few months, I've been immersing trainings, orientations, and a big community of social leaders. By that, I mean the VLI, the Video Leadership Institute by Atlas Core. So I learned a lot about how to deal with myself, how to develop my skills, how to manage a team, how to lead a movement. I learned about self-compassion, which was pretty important to me because I have a bipolar disorder. And it was, believe it or not, I didn't know about self-compassion and how important it is. I learned about personal resilience and emotional intelligence. I've learned about motivating others and navigating cognitive bias. And you would be surprised with how much you can learn about that and how much that can change your life for good. I learned a lot about the relevance of leading movements and be aware of different topics about it before actually leading the movements. And beyond that, oh, I connect with amazing people. Some of them are from my country. Some of them are from all around the world. Uh, actually, I met one from my country, from another state, uh, this week. 
And I created friendships and valuable ones. Um, through these connections, I had new ideas and created solutions and discovered new paths, paths I'm following, by the way. And more than creating all this value, I've learned about other cultures I, and how things are, are different from where I am, from other parts of the world. And I was really happy to share about my culture too. I guess all my peers from cohort eight know a little bit about Brazil now. I even taught them as Lang from a region. And my accountability, uh, it's like a friend that you share your work with during the VLI. It's from Cota de Bois. And I learned a lot about his culture and about all, all his family. And we actually made a really great friendship together. And you know what was made my leadership project able to happen? I already launched my website, Urban Hero, about three years ago. It was a website where you can find in one place all NGOs and social projects by cause and necessity. That way donors and volunteers can find easier ways to help. And it was, and it is, a great idea, but I couldn't maintain it. And I couldn't maintain it because I didn't have the right skills. But now I feel fully capable of doing that. VLI helped me specify my stakeholders, have new ideas for the peer coaching calls, and instituted my plan to finally launch my project. It's not perfect, but it's done, and it's much better than it was before. I have the right skills, I have the right connections, and I have the right timing. Urban Hero, my leadership project, is coming back in great shape, and Atlas Cop has a great part in it. Because of Urban Hero, we will have hundreds of NGOs here in the, in the Amazon region, and by consequence, thousands of people. And that's how I intend to continue working on social issues through Urban Hero. And maybe through Atlas Core. Like, if you need any help, guys, you can count on me. Thank you. That's all I want to say. But I, I should say more. <laughs> oh, I love it, Julia. Thank you. And yes, we want to count on you. And that is amazing. And and I love the sharing the connections. Like, yeah. who would have thought that you'd have this amazing conversation about family and friends and, and social change with another emerging leader from Cote d'Ivoire? And you did. Yeah. And you're inspiring one another. And I hope that is just one conversation of many. And I thank you for being an inspiration. I'll admit, Julia has also to the team, which I think is awesome. She sent positive messages like, oh my gosh, I love this. This is so great. And that's what it's about. Alice Core is here to lead a model. And it is all about the individuals and how you engage and how you take that to the next level. So know that we are also here to listen as you continue to achieve and to multiply and amplify your message. So as you're doing great work locally in the heart of the Amazon, share your story because Atlas Core wants to put it out because your work is important. So thank you so much and keep up thank the great you. work and kudos to all the scholars in your cohort. So friends, we're nearing the end of our broadcast today and our celebration. I hope that you have taken that time to celebrate with us as well as within yourself of all those highlights and in our busy lives, in our unexpected world, in the craziness that happens, know that you matter and individuals make the difference. And that's what Atlas Core is here to do, to connect that talent around the world to opportunity so they can multiply that impact and continue to inspire at home as well as on a global scale. And so please, today is also a great day to show your appreciation, your inspiration, your motivation by sending a quick gift to Atlas Core to inspire these virtual scholars, these fellows to build bridges. Today, your gift will be matched and I will give you a quick highlight. Our goal was to raise $20,000 today and we are about $1,000 away. So please help us get over that goal and let's max it out. Can we get to 25,000, 30,000? We appreciate this support because it is through individuals like you that Outscore has grown over these 16 years and will continue to expand. So thank you for that support and thank you for just being a part of the Outscore global community. So on that note, we're gonna send off with a quick highlight video. So I encourage you to stay tuned in 
and watch. And these are going to see some up close faces of the outgoing fellows and our scholars and those that were celebrating during this celebration and who've been actively involved in Atlas Core because just as people start, they'll soon be finishing. So here, please join me in celebrating our Atlas Core fellows and scholars. Fun. 